Okay, today we're going to be making pork shoulder butt, and uh, this is the wrapper that it came in. And we're going to be making it in the crock pot. And uh, what I did with the pork shoulder butt is there was a uh, a little netting around it. I actually cut it off. It was around the meat itself. This is what the pork shoulder butt looks like. We're making it in the crock pot and we're going to add uh, just some basic uh, things to it like uh, I got a handful of uh, red potatoes. I'm going to add about five of them. Didn't take the skin off, just cleaned them with water. I'm going to add a uh, small bag of carrots. The whole bag in there. I'll keep the center a little open to fit the meat. This is an easy dish. It takes uh, takes eight hours. Usually everything I cook on slow for eight hours. And uh, I'll place the pork butt here in the center. And I'm going to add a little bit of... what I. The better way to do this is to sear before you put it in the crock pot in a, on a, in a hot pan. But this is a simple way of just making it real quick. Uh, I like to sear all, all sides of the meat and season in all sides of the meat. But for now, I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to put any salt on this because, you know, pork is salty. I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne uh, pepper. Cayenne gives a little kick. It's a little hot. Not too, too much, but enough to give it a little kick. And uh, I'm going to use a little, a little cumin. And uh, I got some fresh, uh, some fresh uh, spices. I got sage. I got tarragon and I got dill that I cut up freshly. I'm just going to add this to the mixture here. That's pretty much it. And uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of beer. You don't really need too much of any uh, liquid in there because the meat itself is going to produce you know it's juices and that's pretty much it let me just cover this thing up here and the magic number is eight covered up and put it on low and I'll show you what this looks like in eight hours Okay, this pork shoulder butt's been cooking for eight hours along with the carrots and potatoes and spices. I'm gonna shut the crock pot off and pop this open. It smells really good. And uh, there we have it. I'm gonna plate this thing up. A couple one, two of these forks. I'm gonna let you get a look at what this meat looks like. I'll cut through it. Give me an idea. It smells really good, I'll tell you that. I cooked this one just a little under eight hours. Let's just get a look at what this looks like inside of here. Uh, looks pretty good. Plating it on a wedding dish. <laughs> I guess wedding dishes are not made to like 
hang on a wall. And you're supposed to use dishes to eat on, so that's what I'm doing today. And there you have a beautiful picture of the pork butt. It produced a good amount of juice here on the bottom, like I said, even uh, if you didn't add the beer in there, it's still, uh, you know, the meat itself produces a good amount of juice. You usually the case in a crock pot, so get some carrots out here. Some of the potatoes are falling apart right in the uh, right in there, so everything smells good. I smell the spices, and uh, that's it. We got a little bit of the juice from the bottom. Try a little bit of this out. Not too bad, huh?